This is the homework for lesson 27. We're in module 4 of grade 2. Write your name first. It's going to be the easiest question to answer. Take care of that right away. We're solving vertically and drawing chips on the place value chart and unbundling only when we have to. Uh, some of these may be easier to solve mentally, but we get to practice the vertical method and we're going to also practice drawing the chips. So we're really doing both methods not just figuring out the answer and then writing it down. So it's 100 minus 37. I don't have enough ones to subtract seven ones, so I have to unbundle a 10. And I don't have any 10s. Oh no, what do I do? I have to, un well, I have to use what I have. So I have to unbundle 100. When I do that, I'll have 10 10s. And when I, now I can unbundle a 10. So, there. I'll have 9 10s left. And now I'll have 10 1s. Over here, on the place value chart, is what, it, here's what it looks, the same thing, here's what it looks like. It makes, it's a little bit easier here, because you can see all you have is that 100. So you have to unbundle it. That's all you have to work with. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I can unbundle one of these tens and get ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross out seven. And you can see now I have, just as I have in a vertical over here, I have ten ones. I have nine tens. And I don't have any hundreds. But I have enough of what I need to cross out what I'm subtracting. I'm subtracting seven ones, so there we go. Three of those left. And nine minus three. I cross out these three here, and I have six left. Nine minus three is six, 63. And a lot of these are going to be this way. It's really the most difficult vertical subtraction problems are the ones when there are zero tens and you have to unbundle hundreds and tens to get ones. Just be careful as you go. So here's the hundred. Very easy to do this mentally, but we're going to practice doing it the vertical way. You can look at this mentally and say, oh, it's 51. You maybe not even have to do any steps in your head. You could just might maybe just see it. But you have to do this. Unbundle the 100. That gives you 10 tens. Cross out a 10, and you'll have 9 tens left, but you, now you have your 10 ones. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 4. 9 tens minus 4 tens. 5 tens. 51 left. Don't forget the subtraction symbol. I almost forgot it. When you draw the chips, it's going to look like this. You have to unbundle the 100 to get tens. Then you can unbundle tens to get ones. And now we can subtract nine. I have one left. And I can subtract four tens. And I have five tens left, 51. Gotta have all of this for your vertical method. And you have to have this and that and the crossing out. You have to have all of that stuff for each of those methods. You have to have that. Otherwise, you're just writing down the answers. You're not practicing the method, which is what this homework is all about. Can't get better at it if you don't practice it. 49. And if you need help, that's what this video is for. Okay, I'm going to unbundle one of these hundreds, and I'll have 100 left when I do that. Then I'll have 10 tens, which I can unbundle to get 9 tens, but I'll have 10 ones. 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 4, 5 tens, and I have, don't forget this 100, it's still there, 151. Two hundreds. I break up that 100 and I get 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I can break up a 10 and get 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can cross out 
you see what I have. I have 10 tens. I have nine. I have 10 ones, sorry. 10 ones. I have nine tens and I have 100. I still have 200 here. Because this is 10, right? And this is 90. And this is 100. So this 10 and this 90, that makes 100. And then 100 and 100 is 200. So I still have 200. I haven't actually subtracted anything yet. All I've done is kind of unbundle stuff and rearrange it so that I can use the digits. So now I can cross out 9 ones. Oops. I mean to erase them. 9 ones I can cross out. I'll have one left. And then four tens I can cross out. And I have that five group left. And I still have that hundred. 151. Easy to forget this hundred at the end. After you've done all of this busy work of unbundling and crossing out and subtracting and all this stuff. Easy to forget that that hundred is still there. But it is. Don't forget it. It's an easy mistake to make. 200 minus 57. I'm going to break up that 100. I'll have 100 left. 10 tens, which will leave me with 9 after I unbundle one of them. Now I have 10 ones. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 5 is 4 tens left, and I still have that 100. Two hundreds. Bundle this. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And bundle that 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can cross out seven tens and five, seven ones and five tens. And you can see I have three ones left and four tens and a hundred. Two hundred minus eighty three. You no, know, you know what? I gotta start this a little bit lower because this is gonna get pretty busy above. It's going to give myself more room. 200 minus 83. Cross out 100. 10 tens. Unbundle a 10. I'll have 9 tens left. 10 ones. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 tens minus 8 tens is 110. And then I still have that 100. So here's my 200s. Explode that hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And explode a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can cross out three ones and eight tens. And I get to keep that hundred. So I have a hundred, I have a ten, and I have seven ones. And now we've come to some broken math. Susan solved 200 minus 91 and decided to add her answer to 91 to check her work. Explain why this strategy works. So let's see if she did everything right. Uh, 200 minus 91, she had to unbundle. Yep, she had to unbundle 100, had 100 left, good. Gave her, she kind of consolidated two steps here, right? I would have written this, that she had 10, 10 tens, and then cross that out, and then a nine, replace it with a nine. But she kind of skipped a step here and just wrote that she, she knew she was going to unbundle one of those tens right away. So she knew she'd only have 9 left when she was done. So it still works. It's still 9 minus 9 for the 10's place. And 10 minus 1, 9. Okay, so this all works. And then she takes her difference and adds it to... That's her difference. And she adds it back to her subtrahend. 
to get the minuend back again. If you think of this, even though the numbers are larger than most numbers you put in a number bond, it's kind of, it's a lot like this. You have your whole. It's really about holes and parts, isn't it? Because you have your 200, your 91, and your 109. So the parts and the whole. How do we say this? Explain why this strategy works to check her work. Uh, we can say that uh, adding the parts back together, adding the parts together should equal the whole. Or subtracting the 91 gives you the other part. Okay. Now with this number bond, it, that helps. So you, I would want to have the number bond and this explanation because it because it kind of helps the, the sentences to make sense. Subtract the ninety one for the other part. You can add the parts to make the whole. Right, so if the parts are 91 and 109, you should be able to add them together to get the whole back again, right? 